Morning all. Okay, let's do a group of five rated puzzles. So I'm going into the play rated puzzles section of chessworld.net. So these are puzzles I haven't done so far. 425. So let's see. White to play. Forcing move queen f7. Or knight f6 might win the queen here. I think it's knight f6 check. Knight c5, there might be queen takes. Um, I'm going to try knight f6. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh dear. Let's wake up. It's not the right move. <clears throat> Hang on a sec. I think knight c5 might not be ruled out so easily because queen takes. Queen takes e6. And that's actually mate. So if bishop takes rook, takes e5. Aha. Uh -huh. So that occurred in a Judith Polgar game against Mamdarov. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So the queen is attacked. Black to play. Oh, knight f3 would be good for rook h2 if the queen wasn't there. So how to do something about that? Queen d2, I wouldn't have thought so. Not queen c1, that's ridiculous. Queen d3, ridiculous. <clears throat> um. Hang on, knight f3. Okay, say queen takes this forced. Queen d2, there's bishop g2. Yes. Doesn't look I can't see anything amazing at the moment. Ah oh, hang on. Hang on. Queen E one. Queen E one. Outrageous move. So it takes knight f three and we're mating on h two. Otherwise queen f two. I think it's queen e one. Yep, okay. That nice mechanism with the rook and knight. So that was in this game, Ashlyn playing black. So Okay, for number three, let's have a go for today. Number three, um, Queen takes g5, Bishop takes, there's Rook takes d1, but there's Rook takes c5 there. Oh, there's hell on Queen h2 check, crazy forcing move takes, Rook takes d2 check, you know, discovered check, and then something like Bishop e5. What about just rook takes d2 and there's rook h5? <laughs> uh, actually, I think let's go back to this. Takes, takes. Now, if rook e5, this rook takes d1. If the king moves back, then actually we just take the queen. I think it is this. Oh! <laughs> no! Ah! Uh, Can it really be just definitely not rook d2 surely rook h5 check rook support in the rook uh hang on hang on to stop this it'd be ideal to stop that wouldn't it an ideal rook d5 breaks the rooks threatens um queen h2 how does white stop queen h2 after rook d5 I think I'm going to try this. Yes. That was a bit tricky. So not queen h2 is <laughs> takes takes. Here. Well, oh, black's going to get mated. Uh it's early in the morning, sorry. <laughs> it's good it's not a blitz game. So black white gets mated at the tail end of that. So the way to do it was the beautiful rook d5. So this is in Marula against Karaf Fiaf. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. White play now. The knight is defending g7. Knight d5. 
I don't think that helps. Rook H3, I don't think it helps. Hmm. Knight F5. This looks fairly tricky. I do need to get the rook to support the queen. Rook F4 takes, takes. Surely not. There's knight d4. I don't believe that. Surely not. What about just bishop h3? And then to take and then rook h3. Isn't that a good move? I'm going to try bishop h3. It's not the correct move. Uh, really? White can win this uh, easily. Knight g4. Knight f5. Of course, hang on a sec. We just want to ideally play rook h3. That's the ideal to achieve. Just knight f5. Block the bishop and then rook h3. Ah. That's becoming a familiar pattern for thinking about these puzzles uh, to think about what ideally you'd want to do and see if you can logically achieve that so knight f5 for rook h3 okay <clears throat> so here if bishop d5 rook takes doesn't seem to do anything uh, queen takes takes g8 takes doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so um, um, queen on queen f seven takes g eight. Oh, hold on, takes bishop d five. I wouldn't have thought so. Really, I wouldn't have thought so. Bishop b7 takes that doesn't do anything. Hmm, I'm finding them quite difficult today. Ah, uh, white to play. So bishop d5 rook takes. What's going on now? Well, ideally would want queen e8 without queen takes e8. We're talking about ideals. Oh, hold on a sec. This bishop d5 is made more effective with queen e8. That outrageous forcing move, queen e8 for bishop d5. I'm getting my material back after rook e6. So Fisher against Benko, queen e8. Wow. Bishop d5. So after exchanges, uh, as I say this, Takes, takes, takes a pawn is going to queen because if here then e7. Um, well, white's the exchange up anyway, so it doesn't really white's winning this anyway. Okay, wow. All right, just just one more, just one more this morning. Um, so white to play. Um. Well, there's queen d7 hits g7 and c8. That looks fairly obvious. The queen, there's bishops protecting e3. I think I'm going to go for this. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what is going on? What about just mm, queen e6? And then just take on d1? Could it be as simple as that? Or is there something craftier here? I think a piece up. I'm going to take. <laughs> oh. uh, take on e6. Alright, that was quite easy. That So it was basically a double attack for g7. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this session. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.